When I get into my MIDI editing, I'm always looking for ways to speed up my workflow. Because when you've got a project with a ton of tracks in it, it can be quite time consuming going in and editing and correcting all the MIDI data. And this is where Cubase's MIDI functions come in handy. They can be found under the MIDI menu and then functions over here. Obviously, these are all grayed out because you actually need to select the event first. So if you select an event, then go to functions, you can now apply some of those functions because of your selected event. The first function I want to go through is legato mode. Now, when I'm recording my MIDI parts, there's often going to be slight gaps between the MIDI notes, and sometimes these gaps are not what I want for the performance. I want the notes to move smoothly into each other with no gaps. And that's where the MIDI legato function comes in handy. So I'm going to select all these notes by just pressing Command A or Control A on the PC. I'm going to press Command A on the Mac or Control A on the PC. Then I'm going to go to MIDI, Functions, and Legato. When you look here, all those notes are basically touching each other. Now, as you can see, there's no gaps in those notes. This whole note is held all the way there till it hits the next note. So this Legato will sound nice and smooth with this performance. Me, no gaps in the sound. And this works really well. A good example is if you're using some sort of MIDI string programming, you want to have that legato feel. So you can apply this function to, for example, your string sounds. Now, another really good MIDI function is the fixed length. You can see it over here. Fixed length. And this will take your MIDI notes and set them all to the same length as determined by your quantize value. So if I've got this set to quarter notes and I apply that MIDI function to my events, all those notes will now be quarter note lengths. And I find this quite handy with drums. Sometimes when I'm recording in my parts, I'm actually holding down some notes longer than they need to. For example, like the kick and snare. If I open up this part, you can see if I just zoom up that the hats are quite nice and short, but the kick and snare are sometimes quite long and they really don't need to be because these are hard transient sounds. So I can select all those notes, go to the MIDI functions, then to fixed length. And just remember, this takes the quantized value. So I actually want to turn all of these note lengths into eighth notes. So I'll set the quantized value to eighth notes. I could also do it over here. Select the notes again, MIDI, functions, and fixed lengths. Now that's really just neatened up my performance. I can easily see my kick and snare here. Now with these hats, these are eighth note hats, but maybe I want a slight gap between them, but I still want them all to have the same length. Then I can just select those notes, change it to 16th, then go to MIDI, functions, fixed lengths. There you go. You've got neat looking hats, neat looking kick and snares, and it hasn't altered any of the other note data. For example, all the velocity data has been retained, only the lengths have changed. So those are two functions that I find are super helpful when editing your MIDI. I'd highly recommend using them, either the legato mode or by setting the same length that's determined by your quantized value. Let's take a look at some of these other functions in the next video.